Today we are discussing basis and related examples. Basis and related examples. Okay, let us start. Basis for a vector space. Let V be the vector space. A subset B of V is called a basis. Is called a basis for a vector space V. If B has the following properties. That is first one is B is linearly independent. Second one is span of B is equal to V. If B satisfy these two properties. Then B is called the basis for the vector space V. Okay. Problem is show that S is equal to set 1, 1, minus 1, 2 is a basis of R square. Is a basis of R square. Once more, show that S is equal to set 1, 1, minus 1, 2 is a basis of R square. Here we want to show that the set S is a basis of R square. By definition, we want to prove that S is linearly independent and span of S is equal to R square. Here we want to prove that S is linearly independent and span of S is equal to R square. If it satisfies these two conditions, then we say that S is a basis of R square. S is a basis of R square. First we have to show that S is equal to set 1 1 minus 1 2 is linearly independent. Suppose that A and B are real numbers such that we can write A into first vector that is 1, 1 plus B into second vector that is negative 1, 2 that is equal to 0, 0. That implies we can multiply A into 1 that is A, A into 1 that is A plus B into negative 1 that is minus B comma B into 2, 2B two equal to 0, 0. That implies a minus b equal to 0. a minus b equal to 0. Next, a plus 2b equal to 0. a plus 2b equal to 0. Now solving these two equations we get here a minus b is equal to 0 and a plus 2b is equal to 0. Subtract we get a minus a 0 minus b minus 2b that is minus 3b equal to 0 we get b is equal to 0. Substitute b is b equal to 0 in equation 1 we get a is equal to 0. Now we get a equal to 0 and b equal to 0. That means a into first vector plus b into second vector is equal to 0 that implies a equal to 0 b equal to 0 then we say then we say that s is linearly independent now we want to show that span of s is equal to r square okay now we want to show that span of s is equal to r square that means every element of r square can be written as linear combination of vectors in s every element of r square can be written as linear combination of vectors in S. Okay. Let x comma y ordered by x comma y belongs to R square. We have to show that there exist numbers A and B such that A into first vector that is 1 1 plus B into second vector negative 1 2 is equal to ordered pair x y. Once more let a ordered pair x y belongs to R square. We have to show that there exist numbers a and b such that a into first vector plus b into second vector is equal to ordered pair x, y. Clear? Now we can write a into 1, a, a into 1, a that is a, a plus minus b comma 2b is equal to x comma y. a minus b comma a plus 2b equal to x comma y. That implies a minus b is equal to x and a plus 2b is equal to y. Okay. Now we get a minus b equal to x putting equation number 1. a plus 2b is equal to y putting equation number 2. Solving these two equations we get a minus b equal to x a plus 2b is equal to y. Okay. Subtract we get a minus a 0 minus b minus 2b that is minus 3b is equal to x minus y. Then b is equal to 
x minus y divided by negative 3. That is equal to y minus x divided by 3. Now we get b is equal to y minus x divided by 3. Okay. Putting the value of b in equation 1 we get a minus of y minus x divided by 3 equal to x. Then x plus y minus x divided by 3. That is equal to 3x plus y minus x divided by 3. That is equal to we get 3x minus x is 2x. 2x plus y divided by 3. We get a is equal to 2x plus y divided by 3. a is equal to 2x plus y divided by 3. Now we get a is equal to 2x plus y divided by 3 and b is equal to y minus x divided by 3. Putting the value of a and b in the above equation, we get here a is 2x plus y divided by 3 into 1, 1. Plus here b is y minus x divided by 3 into negative 1, 2. That is equal to x comma y. Okay. That means every element of R square can be written as linear combination of vectors in S. That means every element of R square can be written as linear combination of vectors in S. That means span of S. That means span of S is equal to R square. Now we get S is linearly independent and span of S is equal to R square. Then we say that S is a basis of R square. Then the set S is a basis of R square. Clear?